Now, um, how to make more money with your website. I'm gonna be showing you mistakes people make. <clears throat> Certain people gotta turn off their ringer. And we'll give away this MacBook Air, laptop, and cash. I think you should turn that light on, a little bit dark. I'm gonna show you something that I've never shown you. I'm gonna show you 12 simple things you can do. I don't know if we'll get to all 12, maybe seven, uh, to fix your website and to make more money online. Making money online, richest man in the world, made his money online. He didn't do it in oil, gas, he didn't do it in sports, he didn't do it in you know, mining and all this stuff. It's literally Jeff Bezos sells stuff online. So I'm gonna show you something, actually check this out. Here's a company that I launched a little over a year ago, okay? This is the new box for Mentor Box. Check this bad boy out. I wanna show you something more important. We started that, where's my phone? Does anyone know where I put my phone? Well, that's cool. Oh, it's right there, that blue one. Hand me that right there. I'm gonna show you how much money this is making. No, got it. Uh, did I put it right there? And then one of, Armin, you gotta man the thing. No, that's not mine. All right, we already lost my phone. You sure it's not the blue phone? Why do you think it's not that one? Look at the back. That's our uh, Instagram one. Uh, I'll show you as soon as I phone. Oh, here it is. Duh, I put it under your money. Okay, this company right here, Mentor Box, which is actually the one here, has made, here's the Stripe account right here. Today, oops, wrong finger. Made forty-four thousand seventy-five dollars, forty-four grand. Okay, and in the last month, it's made one million five thousand dollars in the last thirty days. You can see it right here: one zero zero five six hundred sixty-five and eighty-two cents. I want to show you how you can apply that stuff and make money for yourself. Because we live in a world where richer are getting richer and poor are getting poor, and the reason is is because information is not spread out in a fair way. What I mean by that is I know like 10 guys that are friends of mine, I call them the internet mafia, and these 10 people basically know things that allow them, one of my buddies makes $6 million a month, net. Net, not gross. And so, but he doesn't like to share with anybody. He's a very introverted guy. So I'm gonna just show you some stuff. Who here has a website? I'm gonna show you how to fix your website right now. You can't, basically 99% of websites uh, are not good. By the way, this is just one of my companies that makes money online. This is not my biggest one. 44 grand is one of my smaller ones. So I'm gonna show you this techniques that I use to make over 100 grand a day, okay? In different businesses. All right, what's this? What is a website? I see a lot of it. Henryweapons.wordpress. Okay, what else? Now, I'm not gonna just show you how to fix websites. I'm gonna show you how to make money online. The website is the core. All right, let's just see. Dudleymarketplace.com. What the heck is that? First of all, one of the things I'm gonna talk about you have to have something, elements. What makes good marketing? So, it's not, if you have an idea, you have to market it. That's like Apple is one of the, is the biggest company in the world. They market it so well. People line up at stores for like 30 days, you know, like three days ahead of time to get the new iPhone 10. Kanye West got Yeezys. People go crazy trying to get Yeezys, like literally rob each other for stuff like that. They're good at marketing. So the essence of marketing is storytelling, okay? So the first thing I want you to understand when you go to a website, your own website, your own product, how do you tell the story right? What are the elements of a good story? Well, first thing, you need to have character development. Most websites suck. A website and your business needs to be like a movie, something you watch on Netflix. It has to be entertaining. It has to be show behind the scenes. To develop characters, you need behind the scenes. You need multi-characters, not just about you. A lot of brands that suck, they just, even take Coca-Cola, biggest brand in the world. Their Instagram is a nightmare. 
Geico is even worse. But let's look at Coca-Cola. It's the number one brand in the world. Okay. And they have, I haven't looked super recently, but let's look. Coca-Cola. Now, they're lucky because they're a brand that's been around over 100 years. If you start from scratch, you don't have that option. But Coca-Cola is 2.3 million followers. They post these cheese ball little Coke things. They get 28,000 views. Coca-Cola, number one brand in the world. So 2.3 million. I'm, of course, not a 100-year-old brand. My Insta has 2.8 million. This is a picture I did. Got 119,000 likes from yesterday at the game. And Coca-Cola, their last picture got 12,000 likes. They, their, their storytelling sucks. And in the new world, those of you who understand what I'm saying, you're going to make a lot of money. You're going to make a lot of money. And those of you who don't understand this, I don't care if you're Coca-Cola, you're going to disappear. Okay? So, um, somebody's asking about Bitcoin. This is the same thing for Bitcoin. I was just recording. For the, all of you in my Bitcoin, new Bit Bitcoin crypto mastermind, first lessons were just released. Guess who recorded the first lesson? Some people were like, Todd. This guy tweeted out to me. He's like, Todd, you don't even, how are you going to teach about Bitcoin? And I'm like, no, I'm not the teacher. I'm bringing in the best mentors from around the world that teach me, and I'm sharing it with you. I had Brock Pierce teach the first lesson. The, the chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation. Crypto billionaire. So, people are annoying in the modern world, but you know what? He who does the right thing laughs, laughs last, especially in business. So, watch when I'm going to show you this. We're going to pick a website. Do I want to enable dictation? This, by the way, is Mentor Box. Okay? It's telling a story on the homepage. But I don't want to show my websites. I want to pick somebody else's. What was the one? Do you want to roll it up closer? We can move Soundbound.net. What did you say? Do you want to roll it up closer to the phones? Oh, anything you want to do? Go ahead. Sound. Avtrip.com. A-V-E-Trip.com. I don't even. These are just live streaming. So we're gonna work on this. Okay, I'll tell you what's wrong with this website right here. By the way, by the end of this presentation, you're gonna know more than 99.9% .9 of people online. By the way, we'll just pull this forward to give you guys just a little bit closer. It doesn't have to be major. There. How's that? And we should probably dim it. You know what the thing is? I gotta come a little closer to it so that yeah, I know what we'll do. Let, bring it closer. Move that back. Let's get it nice and tight in here. Doom. Okay. I think you guys can see that. We don't even need the whiteboard so much right now. Okay. This is somebody's website submitted this. I'm going to show you what's wrong right away. I always say, you want the good news or the bad news? The Godfather says you should get the bad. In the movie, the Godfather says you want the bad news first. So I'm going to give you the bad news. First, the bad news is logo is weird. You should have a slogan usually. Unless you're Apple, this is just AVE trip. But the most, the, the biggest problem here is to tell a good story, it has to be easily understandable. There was a movie that came out this year called Mother by Darren Aronofsky. It has um, Javier Bardem, all these amazing actors. It lost $45 million this year. They spent $30 million to make it, probably spent another $20 million on marketing. The thing had, they're gonna, they probably lost $45 million, I calculated. Why? If you watch the movie Mother, it's the most confusing movie I've ever watched. It's a pain in the butt. You screen recording? Yeah, we're setting that up right now. But what's the advantage? Oh, you're going to just... So, so if they want to edit it. Oh, cool. It. And we should... Can we dim this a little bit? It's at the dimmest setting right now. Oh, okay. So this website, put what the main product that you sell... Put that first. This has iPhone cases, duffels, jewelry, makeup. Holy crap. First of all, you're selling too much stuff. Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, started selling books only. Books. You cannot do this. By the way, if you're wondering why I know about the internet, I started when I was a teenager. In 2001, I started. This is my 18th year doing internet marketing stuff. So I know a little bit about it. Me and my business partner have spent $600 million on internet ads. 600 mil. 
So we've spent a penny or two. I can tell you this is not, if this is making you any money, which I doubt it is, if it's making you any money, the good news, this is good news for you, whoever owns this, you can make 10 times more by cleaning this up. If you don't believe me, let me show you this. What's the biggest company in the world in history? Apple.com. What does Apple look like? What's their homepage look like? If you want to know how to do it right, go straight to the top. One thing, the 10, that's it. So let me ask you, are you better at branding and marketing? Than... Now remember, they sell other stuff. Are you better than Apple? You cannot sell iPhone cases, duffels, jewelry, and makeup and do it correctly. There's a saying, Confucius said, the man or woman who chase, well, they said the man who chases two rabbits catches none. You're trying to make your customers chase all this stuff. You even have pets on here. Build this in separate websites. I'm gonna put a link later uh, to those of you who are in my How to Make Money Online Advanced uh, program. It's three months long. It's three months, right? Is it three months or two months? I forget how long my, it is. But anyway, over the next three months, I'll show you guys more advanced stuff. I'm just showing you this to get you an understanding. And once you watch this, you will know so much. Like You'll basically understand. I'm gonna do some people's social media too. If you wanna know how to grow your social media and your brand, I'll show you. Who else has a website that you guys want me? I saw a whole bunch of websites, damn it. LA Contempo, okay? Let's see what that is. By the way, I'm not trying to be mean to anybody, but in the, um, I'm also not trying to be, I'm just being blunt because, or else we'll be here eight hours if I have to explain it slowly and nicely to everybody. All right, LA Contempo, you gotta figure out why your site loads so slow. Yeah, okay. Here is a thing that's wrong. First of all, I, if you, I have eye tracking software. I spent $30,000 building, getting software from one of the top universities in the world. You put machines on people's sensors, you show them websites and you can see their perspiration levels. You can see what makes them nervous, what makes them release dope, rewarded and all that stuff. Um, this is not, first of all, people need to, if you're gonna show a face, show the face. Never show behind the face. I'll show you something with Kim Kardashian's Instagram. Any picture Kim Kardashian does where it doesn't show her front, front of her face gets half the likes of other people's, uh, of her other posts. Even six month old babies, I mean six day old babies, if humans, they track eyes. Humans look to eyes, so this is a mistake. The other big problem, to tell a good story, you cannot sell pain. You can only sell reward. There's no reward here. Innovation living, innovation. Why do we need to see the word First of all, no one loves us. They love what we're doing for them. Do you really love Jeff Bezos? Is that why Jeff Bezos is the richest man in the world? Because every day we wake up and we go, what can we do for Jeff Bezos? You know what? I feel like living my life for Amazon. When you go to amazon.com, look how big your logo is. Look how big Apple's logo is. It's not self-important. Why, why, why is this so important? You, you really, it, I know it's important to you, whoever owns this. I didn't even see who it was. But I know no one else gives a crap. No one cares about innovation. Okay? It's, it, it, it's not exciting. There, oops. Did it just switch on me? Did you open a different tab? No. Yeah, this is... If anything, take away. Put the main thing people want to buy right there smack in the middle. No one cares about the 2017, 2018 collection unless you're a massive brand like Gucci, Versace. Do you think it did Here's a simple rule. Sell stuff that hundreds of millions of people today woke up this morning and wish they had. Did anybody wake up and go, I need contemporary innovations today? No, they want simple stuff. They might want a chair or a bed. This is better. Even this is better. It's not that good, but you're missing a huge element. Video. By 2020, my Google reps told me, I'm one of the top Google advertisers in the world. They told, they, so they fly down here every couple months. They told me by 2020, they predict 80% of all internet activity will be people watching video. So why are we still, this is a 2012 website right here. Before there was high speed bandwidth. Okay? So again, why is this important? I'm showing you stuff for those of you popping in here. Let's see if we made any money while we we're doing this. This is a business that I have online and 
It's made $44,452 today. That's today, you can see on Stripe. So getting this stuff right is the difference between making $44 and $44,000. It's really a huge difference. And by the way, it's a sad world we live in that nobody is taught this in school because the internet has been around. Now, Jeff Bezos started in 1994. How come they're not teaching people in high school this kind of stuff? How to build a website that'll actually make you money. Okay, um, oh, I'm worried to even look at this one. Gant, Gand G cabinet. Here, okay, here's another thing. Um, let's talk about, no, you need to dim that. Not Gand G cabinet. <sighs> okay, this one I like a little bit better. There's one problem. People, for the most part, you want a nav bar along the top. Okay, no matter how sophisticated, even Apple has simple nav bar. You want a, a MacBook, you go there. You want an iPad, you go there. You go iPhone, you go watch. TV. It's like, keep it simple, stupid. This thing is really pretty, but look, you have these weird tabs over here on the side. Nobody knows how to do that. You're losing money. I mean, yes, I'm pretty sure you hired a fancy web designer. Unfortunately, you should probably get your money back because that is a pain in the butt. That is a disaster, if in my opinion. You see these little teeny weirdo things? Do you think most people are gonna do that? Most people don't care who your partners are. People care, you know one thing I've learned in life, being around a lot of people, people are really in love with themselves and um, beyond that and their own family. You know why people love their own family? You know why mothers love their children and go, there's just something magical about you. It's because their children have 50% of their DNA. So what they're really saying is, I love myself and I see you in me. That's, that's why. Just to be blunt, if you want to talk about real world, Dr. David Buss was just here at my house this weekend, the number one evolutionary psychologist in the world. You know, the Harvard guy, top 10 most cited psychologist in history. People love themselves. So when you come to your website, there's nothing that I can love here. It's nothing. Because I'm definitely not going, there's not one, unless you're Amazon, nobody's going to go buy an iPhone case and some jewelry on the same website. I mean, give that up, I'm telling you. You can argue with me. If any of you wants to do a $50,000 bet on any of these websites, we'll put it in escrow. You let me have a month to fix these websites. If their conversion rate and traffic goes up, I get your 50 grand. If it goes down, you get my 50 grand. I will take people's money all day long if you want to bet. Like I said, I've already bet, me and, and Alex have bet 600 million bucks over our careers in the last 10 years on how to do this marketing stuff. So let's look at another one, youngrebel.com. I hope this is helping you guys out a little bit. Young, we should do your websites if they weren't hacked. We have some special, okay, youngrebel.com. Yeah, this is a great website. You're selling your domain name. Okay. It, EMSgeneralcontractors.com. Okay. Contractors.com. What do we got? Okay. Mm, that's actually interesting. I rarely like pop ups, but $1,000 off is kind of good, but it's too early. Nobody's ready to hire you for first time they go to your website. So, a thousand, you know what a suspicious person will think? Oh, they're just gonna raise the price a thousand bucks and then give you, that one time I went to Mexico, <laughs> I'll never forget, one of my business partners, this guy named John Dewar, and we're like going back to America and this guy comes up with carpets and he's like, this carpet right here, I'll sell you for 10,000 pesos. And John's like, no, no, I'm not interested. And so the guy put out a calculator and he's like, but for you, I like you, there's something about you. And so he said, I'm gonna multiply it times 0.5. So it's now $5,000. And John's like, nah, I still don't care. And the guy's like, but your English is so good, I'm gonna subtract 4,000. And he went down from like 10,000 pesos to like finally 300. And we knew he was bluffing. People are gonna think you're bluffing. What you need here is a picture of your family's better. If this has been a family business for 20 years, get your grandkids together. Show the behind the scenes stuff. Trustworthy contractors for your home services. Always remove generic BS words. Quality doesn't have to cost a fortune. Blah. Blah. Nobody wants to read this. You know what's better? Put a before and after of a house that looked like crap before I came in. 
after, before and after sells like you cannot believe. You wanna sell weight loss? I go to these people's weight loss websites, show people fat and then skinny, and thousands of those and people will hire you. It's like literally that simple. Swimming pool mastery. Love the advice and value you're putting out. Your username is skinny girl. You could be, a bef you could be the after picture. Okay, Harmar. Let me try to do one that's not Petri Wedding. What is that? There are some weird websites out here in the world. Um, sorry. Petri Wedding. Oh, this is just for you getting married? <laughs> that's kind of a cool idea. So it's not really you're trying to make money. Um, okay, that's all right. I mean, this is the wedding thing. I specialize in stuff to make money. One thing I would tell you, even though it's, it is kind of cool to look at each other, um, I'd have a video because people who hit this website are people who already know you. So a picture, it's not like random strangers gonna go here. Show a video of you guys talking and like, here's our story of how we fell in love. And people like that story, you know, tell stories. Each of you needs to become a Steven Spielberg. Each of you need to become this person that can just tell an amazing story. The movie of your, the movie of your brand, the movie of your product. You know, a lot of people started following me when I just started doing YouTube in 2015 and I just showed my life and I like, bought a Lamborghini and not to show off, I literally bought a Lamborghini because there was a Halloween party and I was gonna be Batman, I was dating this girl. She's like, you be Batman. So I bought a black Lamborghini that looked like, she's like, this one looks like a Batmobile. And then like three months later, I made the Here in My Garage video. So that was, a, that was an afterthought and it was me showing the behind the scenes. Okay, ruthandmaze.com. A lot of you are trying to, you literally, look, let me show you something. This right here. You know why this thing makes a, made a million dollars in the last 30 days? This box? Because it's very simple. We ship you, if you sign up for MentorBox, it's like the Netflix of books. We either give you a digital subscription to top nonfiction self-help books, and you just click and watch videos like you do Netflix, except you learn, or we'll mail you to your house a box of books. The best books taught by the authors with summary guides and all that stuff. So here's the thing. Jeff Bezos began the richest man in the world selling books online, just simple stuff. This is not a box that sells books, makeup, grapes, protein drinks. Like some of you are just, you're doing too much. You cannot do too much or people won't buy from you at all. Um, I just don't think you're gonna get a lot of emails, man. Uh, I know it's people, that's not how you do a pop-up. Better to do pop-up is to have urgency. So instead of enter your email and on your first order get 10% off, eh. First of all, why are you only gonna do 10% off? Do something better. There's this web, so there was this Instagram that went crazy viral a few months ago. They, it was a red bikini. Now they made a mistake, don't do this because this is kind of illegal what they did, but they didn't mean to. They said, if you repost this picture of this red bathing suit, we'll ship you a free bathing suit. And like one million people did it. And they're like, holy crap, we don't have a million bathing suits to give away. So they like just kind of got out. I don't know what happened to the company. Don't do that. But the point is, are you really excited to give your email away for 10% off some crap that you, not that your site's crap, something you don't even know if you're gonna buy? Everybody's clicking off this. If you look through your conversion rate, you're not getting a lot of emails. Okay, Ruth and May, you can't read that very well. I still don't know what you're selling. Is it natural flowers? Is it natural hair? Is it natural landscaping? Simpler, simpler, Apple. What do we see when we go to Apple? iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. Does it keep it esoteric? Is it some random collage of phones coming down with people at their back? Oh, like people, I'm just like, common sense is dead in the world. No, but if people don't wanna spend time on Apple, they don't wanna spend time. On your, I, I can pretty much gauge how much money a website makes without looking at it. This is not making your potential. Your, live, your, your bank account from this website is at one-tenth. So if you're making 10 grand a month, this should be making 100. I still have no idea. Now, purchase products. Okay, not many people like to click that. So it looks like you mostly have, ooh, that looks good. Went, 
whipped mint chocolate hair mask. What you need to do is look at your analytics. What do people buy the most? Put that right on the front. You know why I, Apple has that right there? Number one reason people are going to the Apple website right now is to buy that damn iPhone 10. That's it. And then the second reason is to buy an iPhone 8. And the third reason is they don't even care. Watches, all that stuff. Let them have that. You guys can eat that. Okay, who else has a website? SEO, some of these I'm scared to click on. The coffee bean MKE .com. What the hell? We have to do another whole talk on how to MK the coffee bean MKE .com. Okay, I kinda like it and kinda hate it, just to be honest with you. First of all, don't sew sandwiches at all on a coffee website. Just period. My buddy that makes $6 million a month, I told you this internet mafia, he's the shyest guy in the world. I've tried to get him to conferences, he won't come. He says number one thing that increases the amount of money you make is congruency, especially on a website. I go to the coffee bean and I see, go ahead, that's good, that's good. But it's not that good. First of all, there's no faces for some reason. Forget all this. This I kinda like that you put your address if you have a restaurant, number one reason people go to your website is for hours. I would put it, this is too small. This maybe doesn't need to be right there. What you need to do is tell people, why do people go to your website? I bet you they go to your website because you're somehow different. I don't even know legally. Isn't there a company, the coffee bean? Coffee bean and tea. <laughs> you haven't gotten sued yet for doing this. They're going to come for you unless, because that's not the coffee beans logo, is it? Mm-mm. You it's may like want to change your name unless you were maybe before the coffee bean, then theoretically you could sue them. But um, about us, no, there's nothing about you. I hate about us pages like that. There's nothing. People buy into people. Steve Jobs in 1984, he got up in front of Apple and he said, I'm the founder of Apple. You buy into me. Who's the founder of, of the largest companies in the world? Who's the founder of Berkshire Hathaway? Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett. Everybody knows that. Who's the founder of Microsoft? Bill Gates. Who's the founder of um, Facebook? Does anybody know? Yes, Mark Zuckerberg. Everybody knows. The smaller your business, the more you better sell yourself. It's actually backwards. The smaller, this is a small business. You're not making, I'm assuming, the revenue that Amazon's doing, three, four hundred billion dollars a year, right? Even Amazon, Jeff Bezos becomes a spokesperson. This is no good. Crash, destroy, also the words, no good. Our mission is to bring together food, beverage, atmosphere, customer service, great staff, blah, 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 blah. No one cares. Ain't nobody in Planet Earth read. I'm probably the first person to ever read that paragraph. It's just, just destroy this whole page. Now, by the way, just to say, because I always say there's three reasons people are poor. Really four. And when I look at my life, when I've made mistakes, these are the four reasons. I call it, the overarching principle is stubbornness. Stubbornness. It destroys your money, trust me. Below that, there's four kinds of stubbornness. There's self-importance, where you go, Ty, I built this website. Uh, don't talk down to me. That's The second one's related, sensitivity. I always tell people, you can either be right or you can be rich. So you choose. You wanna be right about this page and argue with me, or you wanna make money? Because I, when I look for a business partner, I'm like, hey dude, do you wanna be right or do you want us to be rich? Because if I have an idea and it's stupid, I'm excited that somebody shoots it down. Why would I wanna waste one day of my life doing something stupid? This is not a good page. Your homepage is a little better, but you can do better. If you're already making, and, and you need pictures, is this person, that looks like a stock photography picture. If not, and you have supermodel guys that serve your coffee, do a video. That looks fake. You can be right or you can be rich. So the, uh, the third one is sensual things like people get addicted to drugs and alcohol so we're stubborn like they keep drinking even though it's killing them but they're they can't stop so hopefully no one here hopefully you're not sensually addicted to the, your website where you go and and look at it there's people who are weird there's a dude i saw a documentary he has sex with his car you ever see that one there's a whole documentary on this dude who has sex with his car so he had a sensual addiction to his car if that's you you got bigger problems than coffee and then the fourth reason that people are stubborn, sometimes people are just stupid. Like you'll tell them and they can't get it. They're like, but, but I like my website. Well, okay. You can be right or you can be rich. Let's pick another one. 
Um, someone said, ha ha, your reviews. So I'm afraid, a lot of these websites, I'm like, I wanna, I need to find a website that I don't tear down so much. All right, here's one. I, when I was little, I liked Corvettes. Corvetteinvasion.com. By the way, a lot of you need to go into my How to Make Money online program. The guys that I have teaching, I have two of my students. Um, a year and a half or two years ago, they came to my seminar in um, Roosevelt Hotel when I started doing seminars. I don't even do these anymore. But they were 21 years old. Their name is Juan and, uh, and, and Samir. And they were making two grand a month each. They became business partners. I told them, go to conferences. They followed what I was teaching. Within eight months, make, they made $220,000 a month. Right now, they made about $2 million in the last 12 months, okay? So they're also, I brought them in to teach in the How to Make Money Online program. So what I'm showing you is badass stuff and real results. Sometimes, remember, this stuff I'm showing you is not a screenshot. Here's another business I had. Um, hold on. This, uh, here's another business. My first student really that ever paid me in 2013, I started doing consulting. James Swanick, he paid me 25 grand. No, he'd had three businesses, none of them ever made any money. And now we launched this glasses business. They're called Blue Blocker Glasses. It's called swannies.com. And it's making 150,000 a month. So here's the Shopify for it. Now we only do, oh wait, I gotta log in, damn it. It makes about 6,000 a day. It's a smaller company. But it's netting twenty thousand a month. I don't even take any. I own thirty three percent of it. But that's an example, man. Businesses like that just making them out. If your goal is to make a little bit of money, it's not that hard. By a little bit, I'm saying ten or twenty thousand a month. Okay, what's bad about this? Pain. What the heck is this? Registration coming soon? Like I don't even know. It's a date. Am I registering to be alive on July twenty first and twenty second? You like forgot to say what I'm registering for. Remember, don't sell pain, sell reward. When people go to a website, why, no one wants, have you ever woken up and go, you know what I feel like doing today? I feel like registering on websites. That's what's missing in my life, man. I need to register. So you could have had the baddest ass page in the world. Corvettes, show Corvettes, have a video of Corvettes drag racing Mustangs. Like you, you could make your website viral. This is an easy one. This is an easy one. Instead, we have register. That's pain. People associate bad ass cars. I honestly also have zero idea what, does anybody know what this website is? Corvette Invade, is, is it a conference or something? Is it like a car a show? Cor a car show? Why don't you put largest convention of, largest car <clears throat> gathering of Corvettes in the world or in California? Man, just make this stuff easy. It's all common sense. Common sense is no longer common, people. And that's the good news, as Warren Buffett says, if it wasn't for the stupidity of the average person, they say they wouldn't be so rich. Um, hold on. Okay, next. Who else? I'm gonna do one or two more. Then I'm gonna put up a link here and show you guys if you wanna get in this three month program, I'm gonna train you everything you need to know on how to make money online, but I'm gonna just, uh, what do we got? Hard Gainers Cookbook. I'm assuming this is like for bodybuilders. Gainers. Now, again, I, I'm not trying to be hard on anyone. I just, I'm on your side, man. And if somebody doesn't speak straight to you, people will take these websites forever. This is better. This is better. This is probably a lead funnels. There's, a, this is a, Template. template. It's better. Let me tell you something not good. This is not a good thumbnail. It's weird. Unleash the bear. If you're showing people, why not have the thumbnail be a before and after of a hard, no offense to you, I'm assuming this is you, I'm not trying to offend you, but let me just show you something. You can always click on the YouTube icon on any website. This video has only had seven views ever. Now, maybe you just launched it, so I'm not trying to be too critical of you, but um, it might only have seven views because people don't want to click there. In general, people, we love ourselves in the mirror and people don't. Guys, very few guys are super good looking, just so you know. 
I have three females here. How often do you see a guy where you're just like, I have to go up to him and give him my phone number? Not often. When's the last time you did that? Never. <laughs> never, never. Yeah, I can't think of So three women just said, grown women, they've never, ever seen a guy so attractive, they had to give their phone number to him. Okay, now I'm assuming you're selling to dudes. Dudes definitely, most dudes, don't find other dudes attractive. If women don't look at guys and want to go phone, so it shouldn't doesn't need to be happy. It, you're selling like a tough thing. Congruency, eliminate hard gaining. It has, by the way, way too often the word hard gaining. Very few people this year woke up, even skinny guys, and said, you know what? Hard gaining. I need a cookbook. I need a cookbook now. No. Nobody's thought that. Literally, not one human out of seven billion people today woke up and said, I'm a hard gainer and I need a cookbook now. I mean, you're selling, you remember supply and demand? For the one thing they actually taught us in school, don't supply what people don't demand. And if you're gonna supply what they don't demand, definitely don't say it like this. How about this? Can you not add any muscle? Wanna learn how I went from being 20 pounds over underweight to adding 40 pounds of muscle in two years. I'll show you the exact recipe that I ate exactly what to eat for breakfast, exactly what to eat for lunch, exactly what to eat for dinner, the nine foods you have to avoid. If you eat this, you'll unravel all your gains. That's what should be all here. It's the, the unleash the bear. Nobody, and I'm gonna repeat this, unless gay guys have said they wanna be a bear. Maybe this is for gay guys? Because, you know, gay guys, whatever. This is a gay term. Uh, so I would not put that either. Because a lot of dudes don't go, man, I need to turn into a bear now. <laughs> Again, if your target market is West Hollywood, which is right over here, this might be the best headline ever. But if you're going after a mass audience, like me, I'm like, I ain't buying that just because I don't feel like I'm a bear. I don't even know what that means. It's some werewolf transformational cookbook or something like that. Now let's see what the let's see let's watch the video. I like there's this one's better in some ways because you got a good template. It's got the headlines. It's got the main headline. It's got the sub headlines above. But you should also test the name. Hard gainer cookbook is. Do you have a sword? Okay, you need to get a video guy because it's very hard to hear you, number one, audio wise, and you probably don't want that backdrop. You have a closet or something with blinds. And so again, I'm not making fun. Look, I've done some stupid things, but again, we're on a short time frame here, so I'm just laying it down. If you want, I can preface everything with, now, you know how like when you're like playing junior high, uh, basketball, your coach has to be like, all right, let me sandwich a compliment in between these two. I'm not your high school coach. You're not even paying me. This is a free call. So I'm just more blunt. Uh, the Hard Gainers Cookbook with a bear in the front, Become the Berserker. This, I would probably not do that. If you, you're supplying what nobody's demanding. So you can be right or you can be rich. You choose on this one. How to increase, this is better, but do not say how to set goals that will actually motivate you to perform. It's too generic. Kill everything generic on your website. Berserker, perfect catch term for cookbook. Are you a caveman who wrote that? Berserker, perfect cookbook. Somebody wrote a weird comment. You know you can write out full words. Um, let me do, okay, let me show you something else. Okay, so what is it actually? A good website. Let's look at even MentorBox. So this is, I own 50% of this company. It's not even a perfect website, but I will tell you what's good about it. And there's some bad things. I'm not active in the business, I just own half of it. So this business, by the way, has made $44,000. Um, $44,000 today and I've worked exactly zero seconds. I, I've, it's made, they made like 10 million bucks in the last 12 months and I probably work 
two hours on it in one year. So the, but Alex is very smart. So we've tested this headline. It's very, it works, believe it or not. Imagine if top authors, thinkers, and CEOs personally mentored you. We tested that. We spent probably fifty to hundred thousand dollars testing that headline. Okay. Number two, it's an autoplay video that actually I have the sound down right now. That actually is again tested. It's seven minutes. It's got a join free for three days. So that's similar. If you go here to Netflix. Um, if you also want to know what you should do, look at some of the best sites. So this company right here has 100 million customers. Oh wait, is someone log how do I go to the logged out version? Let me just get rid of this. Somebody was watching Netflix on here. Damn it. Can you log out of your, <laughs> let me, hold on. I got to log out. Okay. Who's is, oh, this, this is you. Mine, yeah. Don't look at my history. I'm going to say, don't look at your Netflix history. <laughs> Adrian, is there even bad stuff you can look at? All right. Where the fuck is Netflix? <laughs> I've never logged out. Okay, Netflix doesn't... We just found out something. You cannot log oh, no, out no. of Netflix. Click mine and then go to log out. Where? Like... Cancel. I did. Watch. That's edit pro... Yeah, there we go. What the hell? Okay. I never... That's one way to make money. You oh, could completely way. confuse your audience and then they cannot leave. Okay, we will not use Netflix, right? I don't know what's up with Netflix. Wow. Now they have Meet the Mentors, Ariana Huffington. We have her, she's one of the contributors to, and as you can see, Ariana Huffington is very well known. She found in the Huffington Post. We've got how many members? Oh, damn it, I wanted to show that pop-up. Ah. Can you refresh it? 705,000 people have got through. Notice here we have social proof. We have a little pop-up saying Dahlia from Woodbridge, Ontario just joined. So we're actually showing people buying in real time. Let me see if I can get this pop-up. It's a good pop-up. Dang. All right. Well, the pop-up, I need to fix that. It came up, or I'm going to tell Alex. So here's Alex. Here's his bio. It actually talks about him. Meet Alex Mayer, PhD. A world-renowned serial entrepreneur and former NASA scientist has launched over 30 product companies and done over 1 billion in revenue. That's his story. So it's a cool story, right? What real members are saying, you got free bonuses, and the pop-up is really cool. And notice it's a simple setup. The logo is not too big. It shows actual people who are in it. Grant Cardone, this is Ryan Holiday. For people who read books, they know these people. So like I said, you might think the website at the end of the day, results is what matter. People lie, but numbers don't. Is, uh, did Paul and Alan, were they around? No, they couldn't. How come? Uh... Okay. Any questions? Somebody said, cause it's not live. How can you think this isn't live when you're watching on Twitter live? As I, guys, every time someone's stupid around you, Get excited because this is your competition. You want your competition to not think that Periscope is not live. <laughs> Periscope is a live streaming app. Your haircut makes you look very handsome. Is that for me or to the guy who doesn't know if it's live streaming? AustinMcCarthy.com. How do you sell your art? How do you find joy in reading? So at the end of the day, people play replays, Todd. Yeah, but you can tell what a replay is on Periscope. Hello, it has a replay bar that you can go forward and backwards. Try to go forward on this. You won't be able to because this is real time. <laughs> Another reason that people fail in life, they're overly skeptical. People are skeptical. I always find the skeptical people always embrace stupid stuff and are skeptical about the one thing that would actually make them money. It's like people will be skeptical about cryptocurrency even though like right now, like I was skeptical a while ago, but now I have buddies that made $500 million in the last year. Should I be like, uh, no, it's, just, it's not real. I mean, is their jet real? Is it like a phantom jet that flies in the air? It's like Wonder Woman's invisible jet is real to me. So I think that at the end of the day, a lot of you, some of you are too gullible and some of you are too cynical. You gotta find the middle ground where you're not one or the other. Okay, um, 
By the way, Armin, we should just do it ourselves from now on. I don't want to have yeah, to. Figure out no, not try. Just be like, show me how to do it. Hold on one second. Some people are texting me, want me to do their website. <clears throat> All right. Um, okay. Let's push this back for a second here. Sure. Yeah, you can, you can pull it and bring up the board. To the... Yeah, just pull it towards you. Just be on standby for a second there. Okay. Okay. Do you want to do so I want to show you guys something. Um, I made a test group about, what was it, a month ago or something like that? And I basically said, I'm gonna show a group of you how to make a ton of money online, okay? And um, if you want to be in the group, I'm gonna show you what you're about to learn. So basically, it's a program that you access on your phone. For those of you who get in the group now, it's very simple. You're gonna get a private, Login, password. You go there, don't share it with anybody. If you share it with anybody, it locks all of you out, so it's just for you. You go there and you're gonna have step-by-step -step video mentorship, live training, all these things over the next three months. I'm gonna train you how to make money online. All the stuff they should have taught you about school. You get to learn about, you know, if you, even if you go to college, you learn how to get a career. People go in debt and people argue, well, people make more money when they get a college degree. And that's somewhat true and basically a manipulation of statistics because people who go to college make more money because people who go to college come from higher socioeconomic uh, backgrounds. So you, if you control for that, it's not such a big deal. Whether you can go to college if you want, but it's, it, college is more about other stuff. If you wanna get a broad humanities understanding of the planet and you wanna learn history and all that. But if you wanna make money, mark my words, most of the people that make the most money didn't really go to college, or if they did go to college, it's irrelevant. So you can go to college on the side if you want to. You can do it. I go to take college classes. I just walk in college classes sometimes. I, walk, I go to USC and just walk in. No one cares. You just sit down at the class. The professors don't care at all. I went to UCLA, and I had a friend who takes a class there, and I just sat in. And at the end, I went up to the professor, and I was like, thanks for letting you sit in. And he was like, I don't care. Bye. And this is literally what he said to me. They're like mad scientists. So if you want that general education, that's great. I love reading all that, but you, there's not one class in the world that I know of that's gonna teach you this stuff, okay? Why? Because it's too cutting edge. Trust me, I call it dropout, but I've taught at Harvard, London Business School. They bring me in because at the end of the day, you wanna learn from people who actually did it themselves. So I wanna show you how I actually did it. Now, I'm not promising you're gonna make 40, 50, today I probably made like $150,000 or 100, let me see, $120,000. I'm not gonna promise you're gonna make 100 G's a day, okay? I'm not even gonna promise you're gonna make 10,000 a day. You know you only have to, if you make an extra $100 a day, that's 3,000, you can basically buy a new house and a new car <clears throat> if you can figure out how to make 100 bucks a day profit. Literally, a new house and a new car. If that's enough, you know, that's, that, you don't have to be greedy. I recommend figure out how to make 10 bucks a day extra, 100 bucks a day, then once you figure out 100, try to figure out how to make 1,000. And then once you get up to 1,000 bucks a day, you can try, decide if you wanna go big, big, big. Okay, so what you're gonna learn in the program, those of you get in, so here's how you get in, and I'm gonna explain what it is. If you're on YouTube, there's a link at the top. Just click that link. Make sure you click the link and don't just try to go to my website because I'm gonna give you bonus stuff worth how much? It's like three, $4,000 worth of stuff for free? 2,700. 2,700. So if you go to my website, you're gonna miss all this. Um, and I'm gonna keep this open for 44 more minutes because I got to go. I got people here waiting. Um, Instagram, it, I'm sorry, uh, Twitter, it's in the title. Instagram, it's on the, it's on the comment there. And then Facebook, 
it's in the title. If you're watching on my website, you just click the button that's like either on the side or below, and it's gonna take you to the checkout page. If you don't see any of those, you can join the test group by going to, what is it? I'm gonna write it right here. It's uh, online income. You sure? That's it? Yes, for the live call. Online income, yep. So just put tylopez.com, my website, online income. I'm gonna show you how to build websites. Okay, online income. One word, don't put a space between them. tylopez.com slash online income. That's gonna get you in the test group. I'm training people. This is the stuff, not only that Samir and Juan learned, okay, but they're actually teaching now. They're 22 years old. Their worst months now, they're making $75,000 a month profit. They're probably netting. I mean, they'll probably net around 20 to 30%. So, you know, on a bad month, they net 20 Gs at 22, at a good month. Their best month in the last year was 225,000. They probably netted 50 grand. A month, not a year. There's people out there making money, more money. Like sometimes, you know, I grew up with a single mom and most of my teenage years, I was in a mobile home, the majority of them. So I, people are like, Ty, were you poor? Were you rich growing up? I'm like, whatever. I don't even like to put labels. If you grew up in a mobile home, what do you classify that at? I wasn't all my life in one, but my teenage years was a mobile home. So I would say I was not rich. Um, I live in Beverly Hills now, but I never been to Beverly Hills in my whole life until probably 2008. So I'm showing you that you can start from the bottom. I don't have a college degree. Um, I didn't inherit a business. My dad did not give me a business. He was in prison when I was born and never, I mean, my dad was in and out of prison and stuff like that. He's from Harlem. So I'm showing you the stuff that will work. I'm not going to put it in the program if it doesn't work. Okay. So if you get in the test group, the other thing is I got a hundred percent money back guarantee. So if you go through the program, the only person that could lose, you could be dishonest and say, oh, it didn't work for me, Ty, but it really did. Some people do that. But no matter what, I'll give you your money back. So someone said, what's the website again? Tylopez.com slash online income, one word. I'm gonna teach you how to make online income. Some of you, like I said, are gonna use this and you're gonna become like Samir and Juan. And some of you are gonna figure out how to make a hundred bucks, you know, a month or a thousand dollars a month. I tell people just think in tens. Try to make 10 bucks a day, then a hundred bucks a day, then a thousand bucks, then you can try to make 10,000. Okay, first people, I'm gonna read off the names of people getting in the program. Congratulations, Matthew Lebrun from Facebook in California. Cool. So I'll show you, let me show you something real quick. Um, here's what you're gonna get in the program. So number one, I'm gonna show you how to, I call this selection mastery. You have to know how to correctly Pick what you're gonna sell. A lot of people, in fact, remember what I was just showing you all these different websites? Almost everybody is selling stuff people don't care about. You know, like a hard gainer's cookbook, it's not the worst idea in the world. So I'm not trying to discourage anybody, but I would phrase it differently. It's not, you have to phrase what I call high appetite products. So for example, if I say to you, um, Here's a business, Somebody, people should do more with coffee. You know why? Because coffee is one of the most addicting things in the world and it's legal. So you know why Starbucks, Howard Schultz is one of the wealthiest people in the world. Remember, he didn't even start Starbucks, he bought it from somebody else. When it was small and he grew it big, just like McDonald's was started not by Ray Kroc who became the richest man in the world, it was started by um, the McDonald's brothers here in LA. And they didn't make much money, and he made all this money. Why? Because he, re, he changed it into something simpler. Just burgers, like In-N-Out here in LA makes so much money. It makes more money per store than I think any fast food restaurant. And the reason that they do that is because it's simple. You go in there and it's just like burger, fries. There's like 10 choices, right? So a lot of you, I gotta show you how to select what you're selling correctly. And if you get this wrong, I don't care how pretty your website is, I don't care what you books you're reading, you'll never make any money.
okay? I've used this technique. When you select, I remember once I selected something to sell and I made a million bucks in like, uh, I don't know, I made a million dollars in under about a day and a half. Profit. When you get the thing right, you can make a lot of money. I just had Russell Brunson on my podcast show and he's talking about a guy who had never made any money online and he picked the right thing. He sold, was it flashlights or knives? I can't remember, little survival flashlights. He made two million bucks in one month, okay? So I gotta show you how to pick. I'm gonna show you. For those of you who get in the program, prepare yourself to learn awesome ways to make money, man. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I call robotic income. Basically, like I said, what's cool about MentorBox for me is I do no work. And it makes, let's see if it's made any money since we've been on here. Yeah, it's made $2,000 while I was here. It's at 45, you remember it was at like 44 something? Sorry, it's made $1,500 while I was here streaming live. 4,500 and I've been here 53 minutes. So would it help you out if you had a business that potentially made $2,000 while you were doing something else? Most people will, most people go to school, become PhDs, whatever for 15 years to try to make $2,000 in one hour. They become lawyers, they become accountants. It's right here online. It's a real thing. If you think it's not real, you haven't checked the Forbes list. All the Forbes list people, almost all of them now, the top 10 are all internet related. A few of them aren't Warren Buffett, but even that, he owns 75 companies. They're selling stuff online. He owns Amex and stuff like that. So, but you look at Jeff Bezos, number one. You look at Zara, you know, that's one of the top ones. You look at Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg is the richest man in the world if you adjust for his age. He's 32 and he's worth 70 B, 70 billion. Mark Zuckerberg has $70,000 million. Just think of that. How'd you like to have 70,000 million? So imagine if you had $70,000 and you lost $1, would you notice it? If you had $70,000 in your bank account and somebody hacked into your bank account and took $1, you woke up in the morning and you looked at it and it was 69,999. Would you freak out? No, he wouldn't even notice. You'd be like, oh, it must be some fee. Well, that means Mark Zuckerberg can lose $1 million while he sleeps. And he, if he logged in his bank account, he wouldn't even notice it. Now, it's not all cash, it's his net worth, but the point being, he can lose a million bucks like most people lose a dollar or a penny. So that's coming from online. So my question to you, the problem I have, if you go to Amazon, Okay, why are you making everybody else rich? Like you have to ask yourself, hey, what's up crazy? I'm very sane. We have crazy towns in here now. So are you twerking on my chair? <laughs> this is one you know of the crazy. In my head? Wait, I'm doing a live stream. You don't want me on? No, I know you like attention, but you're going to distract me from the thing. What's <laughs> what are you doing? Side piece, two and nine piece. Ask him if they know that song. Have you been smoking weed? No. Or I don't crack? Smoke. Which one? Neither. Which one? Pick one. Left or right? Which door? What's up? How's Vegas been? It's been. It's been. No, I wasn't swell. talking to you. I know you, you know assume all conversation is to you. I just came from Vegas. You know. I was talking to the person who lives in Stop Vegas. Stop lying. How was Vegas? It was, it was good. Okay. There I we mean, go. I had Jackie, so you already know how You goes. feel me. <coughs> I'm at a very important part of my conversation until <coughs> certain people came. I got to Snapchat this just for one second. <laughs> uh. Hi, girl. Are you guys twins? Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to do my live call. <laughs> Certain I, people I, I, are distracting. I've got, I got a studio audience. They're not even distracting. Hey, what does Mark what does Mark Wahlberg say about that? Mark Wahlberg says. Hey, what's up everybody? You here to audition for Transformers? <laughs> <laughs> what what about uh let's see, who do we got? Donald Trump I heard was gonna pop in here. I normally don't do small appearances like this, but for Ty, I'll do anything because his hands are huge, like mine. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He do got big hands. No, Donald Trump doesn't. <laughs> um, okay. Sorry for that little. Right when I'm talking about something important, 
Jackie Loud Pants comes in here. Da -da 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 -da. Stop. <clears throat> Why are you trying to blame me for everything all the time? You like the attention, don't worry. I don't. Not the bad part. All right. Reset Insta. Where's my taser? <laughs> um, Facebook Live ruins. That's what. Oh, I think. Are you saying Facebook ruins lives? Send a request to be in Ty Lopez's live video. Oh, yeah, people can be popping in. Okay, so I want to show you how to make robotic automated income. I'm going to show you how to create multiple products. You don't want to just sell one thing, you need to sell like two or three different things. Like I said, I sell probably 15 different things. Actually, let me, let me, you want to know exactly how many streams of income I have today? I will tell you how many different places I made money from. So today, I'm at 100. Here, I'll show you how much money today. Just so you guys. So today, I'm at $126,000. Can you see that? Here. This, yeah, just open. pan it over each phone. Can you you got to go close. So one business made $126,000 today. $126,324. Mentor Box made... <clears throat> So you can see on Stripe how much mentor box. We'll add it up here. Forty-five thousand. So one twenty-six plus forty-five. So it's like you know one sixty, one seventy. And then I got other businesses. And but that's not all from one income source. So if you go here, I have all my income sources for today here. So you can see the revenue: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Plus the glasses business, 37, and um, mentor box, 38. So that's not even all of them, but I'm trying to catch up to Warren Buffett. He has 75 sources of income. So I, you don't have to try. It took me a long time of business to be able to figure this out, but you should try to make at least, I mean, have more than one income source, three. And ideally not three jobs, <clears throat> like certain people here. Three jobs will burn you out. You wanna have maybe one nine to five job and then two other sources of income online. Just pick the right product. This is the most important thing. Okay, I'm gonna show you the difference between ClickFunnels, Shopify versus Amazon versus WordPress. There's basically four quick ways to build a website and start selling something. ClickFunnels is fast. You could build a site, you could be making money on ClickFunnels in 24 hours. Same with Shopify, Amazon you can get approved to build on there. Then there's some more advanced ones like custom sites and WordPress. I'm gonna show you financial mastery. I'm gonna show you how to connect a Stripe account, Braintree, PayPal, how to set up a business bank account, how to form your company, how to pick the domain name. Some people's domain names that we saw are crazy. You don't want a domain name that turns people away. <clears throat> Somebody, here we go. 3e.gr8 says this is a recording. Yes. I am a robot. This is a recording on Instagram Live. You know Instagram Live will tell you when it's one. Okay, let me see something. What was I, what was I just talking about? Oh, I know. I was gonna read off the people getting in the program. So Jacqueline Stockstill, welcome to the group. You live in Hawaii. Awesome, is it, what time is it in Hawaii right now? Isn't it like six hours? Is it behind or ahead? It's behind. It's behind. Oh, yeah, it's early. Okay. Good. Now, there's two payment options. I'll show you how. Let, let me just show you this real quick before I read off the name of the people getting in. Danielle, Daniel does dessert. If your cards decline, just call the phone number um, that's on my website, or you'll get an email and you can reply to it. So let me show you something else. I'm gonna show you the price too. How to set up a drop shipping white labeling business. So basically, you don't have to buy all the stuff. If you wanna sell glasses, you don't have to buy 10,000 pairs of glasses and store them in your closet. There's a way that you can um, have them shipped directly from the warehouse or even from China or have Amazon do it for you. We'll talk about local products, Alibaba, Amazon fulfillment. I'm gonna show you the marketing stuff. That's what I focused on today. That's number seven. I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, and then, so let's talk about how much it costs and why. I got the simplest answer, how much I should charge. One year of college in the US is 10 grand. 
and it does not have a 100% money back guarantee. When, in 2014, when I really started doing programs, I was like, I'm gonna charge 10 grand. And I did, and then I realized only rich kids and kids of rich parents could afford this or really successful entrepreneurs. So I decided I'd go lower than that. So I was like, what's the cheapest college you can go to? Community college. So in LA, community college is $1,000, okay? And you get to learn, you will not learn you think a community college professor knows this stuff? If they did, they probably wouldn't be teaching at a community college. I mean, maybe sometimes they just love teaching. I'm not trying to knock any teachers, but I'm just being real. Trust me. I've taken college classes just to sit in to see if they know what they're talking about, and they don't, unfortunately. So you're going to be learning from the wrong person. So I was like, all right, I'll go half, 500 bucks. So I have a one payment option, if you get in now, times one payment, so it's only 500 bucks. Or it's a little under, I think it's 497 or something. The good news is, you only pay it once. There's no rebill, you won't wake up in a month and we've recharged your card. It's literally one payment. Now I know some of you cannot even afford one payment. So I decided to kind of do, huh? Yeah, so the next one, we built, what is it, how much is it? I forget. 149. Yeah, so I decided I'll do it for 149 times four. So you pay it, so you can get in right now for that. If you do not think that what I'm teaching you, that I, me and Alex have spent over $600 million learning how to do, then I have no answer for you. Go buy, you can hardly buy a book for this. Go find a book that explains what I just explained to you guys on website optimization. I challenge you, you know? There's none, there's none. So I'm gonna show you guys insider hacks, techniques in this mentorship, this mastermind. Let me show you how to make money online. And I brought in like 10 other badasses. I just had, um, did we, I think, yeah, I don't know, he's not here now, but there was a guy here that was teaching. I had a seminar at my house this Saturday. By the way, this is level one, so this is all online. We have a level two if some of you want to graduate from level one and come and do an in-person seminar. But I had, a, I had my buddy, um, a guy named Jeff here, and he's 22. He pulled up in his Huracan Lamborghini. He's making about 200000 a month at 22, doing e-commerce. So he was teaching eBay, things like that. We're going to throw in. Make sure, for those of you who get in, I'm going to throw in his recording. Okay, I'm gonna throw in, can you tell Armin? Yeah. This is gonna be an extra bonus. I wasn't planning to do this, but somebody brought up eBay earlier. There's crazy money to be made in all these things. Amazon, eBay. So, all right. Congratulations to Windsor Williams. And you also have a cool name. That's kind of a cool name, Windsor Williams. Hey, remind me, if I ever do a book and I don't wanna use my name, I swear I'm gonna name myself Windsor Williams. Just sounds good. Cool. Yeah. So Windsor Williams. It's like a book. What's the most famous? Sounds British. Yeah, it's like, that's kind of cool. All right, but I'm assuming that's your real name, Windsor. Thank you. Welcome to the mentorship. Oops, hold on. Armando, so Windsor Williams, you can see here, did the one payment option. You will not be charged again. It's a one payment. And then the next person here that got in the group, Armando Monell, you did the 149. It'll be every 30 days for four months, okay? So, by the way, oh, I forgot to tell you. This is 100% refundable. So if you go through the program anytime in the next 60 days and you think it sucks, just send an email to my office or call in. We're here in Los Angeles. I got 50 employees here. It's not a fly-by-night company. It's not some offshore company. Um, we'll send you all your money back. We have super low refund rates, so I don't mind doing that for you guys, okay? Um, congratulations to Ben George. Oh, you're in England, West Sussex. Welcome to the group. By the way, you're gonna get access to a private, we've been doing it on my website, but we're going back to a private Facebook group. The power of just the private Facebook group to ask all your questions to other people in the group is worth the whole amount of money in the program, okay? So, Jake says, what if the same people keep asking for refunds? That doesn't happen because we, I mean, that's probably happened. I have, just so you know, how many people have gone through my paid program? So I have 200 million people a year watch 
my free stuff, some free video. It could be a Snapchat, a, a YouTube video. And then about 200,000 people have gone through my paid training. So just to put that in perspective, that's more than UCLA puts through in five years. Now obviously UCLA is like a bigger program, but this we put almost a quarter of a million people, probably a quarter million, I haven't checked recently. So this is the future by the way. Online education, mark my words, your kids and grandkids are gonna look and ask you, wait a second, you guys didn't learn online? You went into schools and buildings? Like what's wrong with you? It's like saying, Imagine 20 years ago if you're like, yeah, everybody's going to buy stuff on Amazon and they're going to deliver it to you. People were like, what? I don't believe you. Well, that's the future of education. Education is the most outdated part of the current global system. Medicine is improved. We don't put leeches on people anymore from the 1800s. They used to, in the 1800s, they were still putting leeches on people. In the 1800s, in the Civil War, they didn't really know that you needed to wash your hands. We've updated that in the modern world. We now, you go to a doctor, they gotta wash their hands. They do not put leashes on you. In uh, technology, we used to have steam engines. Now we have you know, Tesla, we got rocket ship engines. But the education system is still the same education system, system as Bismarck in Germany used in 18, the late 1800s. It's the exact same thing. It was created to, it was built to create soldiers who would listen to orders. So if you go through the modern education system only and don't self-educate and expand your mind, you're becoming a robot, man. You're becoming a robot. So I'm gonna go in a second because it's already longer than I thought. So I'm gonna keep this up for another 22 minutes. Nicole Marzi, congratulations. You must be Italian. Limburg, where is Limburg? Can somebody Google that? L-I-M-B-U-R-G. Brian Chamayo. Welcome to the group. It's a cool name. Michael Mayer, welcome to the group. You did the one payment program. You are in New York. So how do you get in? Very simple. You click the link on the button on my website if you're watching. We're streaming in five different places. If you are on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, it's either a pinned comment or it's a title. If you can't find anything, go here. tylopez.slash online income. Because if you don't get it there, I'm not, I'm gonna, I want to give you this badass bonus. We're going to throw in Jeff's e-commerce and eBay talk. You guys last night? He was here on Saturday. He was the one teaching the seminar. They'll know. Oh, okay. He was the guy teaching at 10 o'clock. He drove here. He taught all day for his students, and then he drove here. It's cool. I'll show you his Lamborghini. You want to see it? He's 22. Is he 22 or 21? I've known him since he was like 20. Um... Got a cool, and look what he named his, here's his Lamborghini. It's named E-Commerce King. There you go. That's a Huracan. It's a little bit smaller than the, the Aventador that I have. It's kind of there. It's a cool version though. It's a cool car. Drives like a Ferrari. Okay, last questions, and then we're gonna wrap up here. Let's see, if I could sign up, I could be your video guy for a day. Someone said there's not enough space to do the dirty in a Lambo. <laughs> so you're not gonna get a Lambo because you can't sleep with your girlfriend, you can't have sex with your girlfriend in a car. So you can drive around in a, in a van. Actually, you can be a van guy. <laughs> you need lots of room. You're gonna have a bus. You can be a bus guy. All right. Okay, how much do you make See, I'm got it. a month, Ty? I never say exactly, but like I always say, I always understate your income because you don't need to brag about how much money. I want to tell people enough so that people get inspired, but I always just say 100 grand a day just to keep it conserved. Always understate it too because then you don't get sued. If you say, oh, I know how to make 10,000 trillion dollars per hour and then somebody can prove you didn't make it, and you know what? It's not about how much money you make, it's about, I call it the good life factor. So like basically you need to make enough money that you enjoy life. For some of you, good, like I know a guy, this guy who follows me, he lives in India. He's young, I don't know, he's in his 20s. And he's an affiliate and he knows this internet marketing and stuff. He makes $10,000 a month in India, okay, profit. 
Just to put that in perspective, you know how much money that is in India? Like he leaves from like a small town in India. 10 G's. A, most, there's a lot of people in India that make $14 a month. Okay? $14 a month. He's making $10,000. He make it so... I see that. I remember the first time I really started making money, I was like blown away. I was like, my mom was a single mom when I was born. I remember she used to like leave me at home because she was, um, you know, had to go work. So sometimes I have a babysitter. Some you, She would try to drop me off at my grandma's, but my grandma's older. And then she would um, sometimes, like we, she had roommates, so the other mom would take care of me. But sometimes I was just alone. And she'd go out, she'd work, and she'd come back. And she made never more than $20,000 in a year. Maybe $25,000. And then sometimes I'll make $25,000 in one hour. And I'm like, man, the world is unfair place. So some of you are living in an unfair world and I don't have a solution. I don't know how to change the world, man. I don't know how to make... The top 10 men in the world have more money than the bottom 3.5 billion. Did you know that? 10 men, they're all men, they have more money than 3.5 billion people all added together. It's not really fair, but I don't know what do you want me to do? Go rob Bill Gates and, and become Robin Hood and take all his money and start throwing it over India and Malaysia and you know Africa. Like you can't do that. It's, but what you can do is what I'm trying to do is share with you the stuff that I've learned from those people. And I've never learned, let's say from Bill Gates, but I, I just had dinner with Steve Ballmer this year. Steve Ballmer is Bill Gates' business partner. $32 billion he's made. And I ask him questions. The, quest, the answers you're hearing me give you on these talks, it's not just me. I've had fascinating conversations with Elon Musk, with Mark Cuban, like I said, with uh, uh, um, Ballmer. I mean, Ballmer's a monster. He bought the Clippers for $2 billion cash. How'd you like to have $2 billion? Like, I want a basketball team. I asked him, a lot of this stuff that I'm talking about is an adaption of things that I learned from other people. So I don't know how to take wealth from the rich and give it to the poor. I think it's better, instead of taking money from one person, try to get everybody to have more money. The pie of this world can get bigger. It's not a limited pie. That's faulty economics called Malthusian economics. That was disproven in the 1800s. Everybody, you know that it's possible that everybody in the world could have a nice house, a nice car, no stress about their bills. We have the technology, we have it. The problem is information is not fairly shared. Like Jeff Bezos knows stuff about building this website right here that no kid in school is learning. I grew up playing basketball. I grew up all around the projects in the South. Very poor people. My, my um, best friend was a kid named Leon Champion in high school. And he basically kind of starved to death. I didn't know it. I never starved, but First time I went to his house when I was like, um, I don't know, 16, I spent the weekend there and like I woke up hungry, sat like Friday late night, I went to the kitchen and I'd never seen this. I opened it up and there was, I'll never forget, there was mustard in the fridge and I'm like, there's mustard in here. So I, in the morning I was like, Leon, where's the food? He's like, dude, I don't eat on the weekends. I just get free meals Monday through Friday, breakfast. He go to school early, breakfast, lunch, dinner. He was in the projects. And so I've grown up around that. Luckily, I always had enough food, but the point is, I don't know how to fix it, but I know that Leon didn't get taught the same thing that, because Leon was smart. And then I, he started dealing drugs in his, my senior year, junior year. So I stopped being friends with him because I don't want to get shot. And he was dealing coke in school. And then I left North Carolina and I came back four years later and I was like, Hey, where's Leon? I need to meet up with him. I asked on my friend and he was dead. He died in prison. He got diabetes. When you don't eat right and you're like, you know, your blood sugar goes up and down. He was a diabetic as a teenager. He went to prison. In prison, they never even gave him his insulin. You know that, dude, people in prison, prison's fucked up. They're not always nice in prison. They literally didn't give him his drug. He just died. And that happened. That's happened. You know how much wasted talent there is in the world? We're talking hundreds of millions of people. Maybe billions of people right now on this planet that are smart, that are good people, that are hardworking, but information is unfairly spread throughout this world. And so when information is unfairly spread, it's not that wealth's unfairly spread. For example, Jack Ma, one of the richest men in the world, I think he's worth 40 billion. He was making 80 cents a day teaching school in a little village in China, 80 cents a day. And what changed his life 
to create a website called Alibaba, which is kind of the Amazon of China, was he learned stuff, information. He learned what Jeff Bezos knew, and now he's competing with Jeff Bezos. And he's made, he made $25 billion in one day, sales of his company. So I want to pass, like, all my whole thing is, like, build a knowledge society where my friend Leon, if he was still alive, I could show him, like, dude, Leon, here's how to make enough money that you'd never have to sell dope. You don't have to, like, here. I could have shown him the same shit, but he's dead. And that's how the world goes. So what I'm doing here, yes, I make money in it, but it's not, it's not the only reason that I do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's my story. And uh, so those of you who want to get in, I hope you get in. Those of you who have another source of information that you think is better, go. I, I don't, I'm not trying to make all the money in the world. I'm not trying to – I'm not the one who has all the answers. But I'm telling you, the people that are teaching, in addition to me, are really good. Like I've flown them in from around the world. Just like I said in my Bitcoin program, I got <laughs> – my fish are getting – they have an automatic feeder. They're going crazy. What happened to Jackie? Is she falling in the pond there? She's going where the food is. All right, any last questions? You fix it by teaching people to fish. That's right. You can't give everybody a fish. I give away. I gave away 10 cars this year. I gave away like $500,000 worth of laptops. Oh, yeah, I got to give this laptop away. Okay, let me give this bad boy away, and we're going to wrap up. Any last questions about the program? Like I said, if it, you think it's for you, go in because you got a money back guarantee. You can't even lose. Where am I now? I am in Los Angeles. This is Beverly Hills here. Um, Ty, the glasses for your company. I have a glasses company. Yeah, they're not available in the Philippines. Sorry. Ty, I have too much money. How do you get rid of it? You invest it. You can't, you can invest it or you can give it to charity. How to grow a business if you can't do paid advertising. Look at this company. There's a, one of my buddies invested in a company. They built one YouTube ad. It went viral. It got 20 million views. It was about razors, about a funny video of a guy shaving. And it turned into a company called Dollar Shave Club. And I think six years later, they just sold it this year for $1.3 billion. It started with no money. And they just deliver razors. Remember I told you simple businesses? You gotta pick the right business. Remember, I'm going to show you how to do that. 99% of entrepreneurs, maybe 99.99, pick idiotic businesses. I'm telling you. I mean, people will be like, oh, Ty, I'm going to make a restaurant and like, we're going to sell fish eye sandwiches. I'm like, hey, nobody wants fish eyes. Like, sell peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm amazed. You know what I'm amazed that there isn't? More breakfast delivery companies. You can make a simple, I don't have time to talk about this, but simple business, delivering like simple stuff to people like burrito like egg burritos like with bacon and eggs in it deliver it to businesses you've been making ten thousand dollars a month within a few months if you do it right okay uber eats yes uber eats is a good business but people will be competing with it you can still compete in fact i like to go into businesses where there are competitors mcdonald's competes with burger king wendy's taco bell subway like if there's no competition that means there's no demand Supply what people demand, not the other way around. Okay, who wants this MacBook Air? This is a 13 inch, technically 13.3 inch MacBook Air, and uh, I'm giving it to somebody. Somebody said, Ty, you are humorous. <laughs> That's like the least funny way to say you're funny. You are humorous. Did you know, Lisa, you are very humorous to me? I, I did know that. <laughs> okay, I, I, I could. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Here's how you win this. I'm gonna ask a question based on something I said, showed earlier. Not anything too hard. Just to see who's kind of paying attention. The question is, what? Oh yeah. Okay. The fourth person to answer this win. Oh, I'm gonna give a hundred bucks to. I'll PayPal a hundred dollars. This is fake cash here. My friend's a detective in the Beverly Hills Police Department. He's like, dude, you better be telling people this is fake. This is, you can actually see. People are like, why do you have fake money? I'm like, because I ain't going to get robbed. What's the rapper that just got robbed for 80 Gs in LA? Who was it? Future, one of those guys? Somebody just got, this weekend I was, 
went to DJ Khaled's birthday party, and I made a wrong turn, missed the exit. By the time I got there, the fire marshals were outside. They go, you can't go in the party. I'm like, dude, I'm sitting here. I had the Aventador. And they're like, you can't go. Puff Daddy, P. Diddy came with, what's his new name? Brother Love. Brother Love. Oh, he changed it back to Diddy? Whatever it is, that guy, he came with 17 SUVs, blocked up the whole thing. Mary J. Blige was there. I mean, everybody was there. I'm sitting out there, can't get in. It was on my Snapchat. So <clears throat> I'm like, man, I'm bummed. You know, I want to be there for that. So I'm like, what could get worse? I go to turn my car home to drive off, burnt, dead, battery dead. So, it, I mean, it could get a lot worse, by the way. Don't ever get too freaked out. If you have an Aventador or Lamborghini, never be that sad. I wasn't that sad, but why was I bringing that up? We were talking about, oh, I was saying don't have real cash because people come for your ass. So if you come in this house, first of all, I got a lot of guns in here, so you may not survive, but if you did, you're gonna get this fake motion picture money. Keep most of your money outside of your house, by the way. I keep almost all my money outside of the house. Safe deposit box. Okay, someone said, you smart. I said, ha ha, that is a nice line. What's the line that's funny? What did I say? You know when you're the funniest or when you have no idea when you're trying to be funny? I didn't even know I was trying to be funny. Here you go. What is the first thing Apple sh is showing they're selling on their website? Dear, near, near, near. Oh, I said you might get shot. Yeah, I got a I got an AK-47 here. I got an AR. I got a couple shotguns. What else do I have? Glock. Okay. All right, I see. I got to give Facebook a second to catch up. It's Facebook always stuck. Okay, here we go. Ladies, tell me when to stop. <clears throat> stop. All right, we're going to Twitter. Okay. Tell me when Oh wait, I got to tell me when to stop on Twitter. Right there, that person. Oh, 3B have, or something like that. You win this. So, oh, 3B have on Twitter. What was it? Can you go back? I need you to post your, oh no, actually, yeah, post your email at, just you, just one person. Whenever I say this, everybody posts it. Yeah. Is that the right angle you have? I feel like it's hard to read. Yeah, O H B three H A L V E. O O B three Halve. Oof. Love it. One of the things, when you guys make your damn social media handles, don't ever put underscores and super bizarre things. Because nobody wants nobody ever woke up and was like, you know what I need to do today? Type more underscores or weird <laughs> things like that. Dude, it's me. No, that's not you. So O H B three blah blah have. Put your email address, please. If you want to win. Anybody else puts it, I'm going to put it on a spam list. Destroy your email. I have a friend who used to get mad at people. He'd find their email and subscribe them to like 500 spam email lists. O3BHALVE on Twitter. You won. Bro, he threw it up. Brian something. And it's here. There you go. So those of you getting in the group, I'm going to read off and then we're out of here. You guys ready to go? Don't look too excited. Uh -huh. We got sarcastic Scorpios. Yep. What are you? Me? Yeah. Scorpio? Oh, you're the opposite of Scorpio. Six months apart. <laughs> you're a Taurus too. So we have stubborn and sneaky all in one we building. We are not stubborn. Really? Are yeah. you being stubborn that you're not stubborn? No. I like when you say to people you're stubborn and they're like, stubborn. I'm absolutely not stubborn. <laughs> Has anybody ever called you stubborn before? Just be honest, yes or no? Yes. Okay, so other people also agree that you're stubborn. But you're stubbornly holding to the fact that you're sure you're not stubborn. Slight, slightly. My best friends say I'm stubborn, but that's it. Oh, so every, everybody else is stubborn, but you're very flexible. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, that makes sense. All right, let's read the last people that got in the group. Lots of people. Ansar Kazinov, welcome to the group. Adam Karashi in Texas welcome, did the one payment option. Bryce Stoddard, welcome to the group. 
Brittany Edwards or Brentony. Brentony, that's an interesting new way. Oh, I gotta give the hundred dollars, you're right. Okay, we gotta do one more person. Sorry, but not Twitter. So tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, my finger's right between Facebook and Instagram. Do it again. Stop. It's again. Do it, let me go slower. <laughs> slower. Stop. Don't look, you gotta close your eyes. No. Don't be cheating. Stop. <laughs> okay, YouTube. All right, tell me when to stop. What's, what was the name? It's the same thing. Okay, tell me when to stop. Stop. All right, the first person to say what Apple hat. There we go. The boring hat. Is that Elon Musk? Isn't that the name of his company? The boring hat? Elon, I'm going to send you $100 through PayPal, which is the business that you built. Okay, we're out of here. I don't have time to read everybody. Here's the deal. Those of you who got in the test group went right here. You close Make down. sure you go to my, uh, there's a phone scheduler. Yeah. Get on the phone with my team. we got a free conversation you can have so they can customize and walk you through how to use the program. You can get started tonight, but they'll also walk you through and stuff. You want to grab some B-roll of them? And, um, yeah, tylopez.com slash online income. Someone said, this is so funny. Man, this is so funny. All right, we're out of here. What do you guys think of this jacket, yes or no? Horrible. You don't like it? <laughs> this is uh, Paul Smith, I think. David Padilla, one pay. Welcome to the group. Here, you guys come say hello to them. Bye. To you guys say bye. Let, we'll end with a high note. Bella, come on. Oh, come say hello. Say hi. Just come on for a second. Come on. Don't. Are you being stubborn again? Hi guys. I'm not stubborn. We have twins here. Yo, she's really oh. saying. Okay. I can't see that far. Are you Puerto Rican? Oh, there is Are you Puerto Rican? Come on, Scorpio. Okay, go over there. Go say hello. Oh, no, it's fine. We're missing talking woman. You go in front of them. Go in front. No, go in front. Yeah, you guys can stay. Yeah, we're stubborn. No, you're not stubborn at all. I'm very stubborn, and we're like four foot something. There's a mask right there. No, Haley, she's stubborn. She has to get in. She's stubborn, too. Are, you Are we taking a picture? We yeah, this a is a picture. This is a picture. We got Nicaragua in the house. <laughs> that's not. A picture, we got Scorpio that's a video. one, two, three. <laughs> We're really? in a video right now. No, this is this not a video. Chat. This is. I'm just focusing the camera. Oh, are we? No, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a, a video. video. It's definitely a video. <laughs> Here, picture. Like, Ready? Like we oh. thought it. Like we thought it was gonna be. Ready? Oh wait. Let me see. Man, looks, you look so... They look so much uh, better. You smile. She look fierce, boy. Oh, she extra did. Let me uh, see. She's like, I will punch you in the face. <laughs> you don't like your arm? The filter is there. Why is it so yellow? Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Let's leave. I'm ready to go. Where are we going, first of all? Jackie. Jackie's in the restaurant. Still? Did she fall in? She's in the kitchen. What's up, everybody? Here's what we're talking about. Yeah, let's go. Uh, um, you guys get enough food? Like, I'm gonna be showing you my skates. Are you hungry? I don't know if they eat eaten before they came. Twitter. I'm gonna show you something that I've never shown you. Yeah, I'm gonna call it.